state of insecurity in this nation. And usually every night when I finish my training at any of my facilities in Aja. My correct, correct people them. Man, don't give details how they almost spy him. Yesterday, I seen board boss from Lekki. They go Ikurudu. No be smart, no my correct, correct people them. This matter why they tell you now so. Now something way been what happened to me. My own brother last week. Hey, Jesus. If not be say God say you want me to enjoy this Christmas, eh? Mo no do I with tears for I. They don't already catch them finish like this. God just help my brother escape. Every other person that so they kidnap them, match them, go inside bush. That one was na story for another day. The story long na story for another day. So Mo just here waiting this man talk. If we listen to her and finish, they will go see, see, wait to country people, they talk. This will not be fast hunting again, no. Now, waiting, they happen. They happen. Yesterday, I called one of my friends where they do birthday. As I wish her happy birthday, I said, ah, now, nah, celebration of life, now one of the biggest testimonies now. Not be like before, where if your birthday reach, you go be in the day depressed. I wait to other chief. I never do this one. I never do the other one. Ah, the thing that happened to me, where, where? But now, the way people they cry for this country, the way people they cry for this country in the name of kidnapping, <laughs> is on another level. It's just on another level. I'm telling you the gospel truth. No state will never enter. My brother and wife they talk so now for Calabao. My apple. This one now for Lagos. Abuja here, just be like their headquarter. My correct correct people there. Now just God. Now just God at the end of the day. All right, like, we'll listen to his story. Then we'll see fans' reactions. State of insecurity in this nation. And usually every night when I finish my training at any of my facilities in Aja, Jakonde, Elegushi, Marwa, or Banana Island, I have several facilities on the island that I provide state coaching services to every day of the week. So because of the fact that most of my classes end around seven, and by that time there would have been a heavy build-up of traffic, especially on Third Milan Break, that that could you know, delay my arrival at home for about two or three hours and I don't typically like sitting in, in traffic. Sometimes when I drive, I even park my cars or in my car wherever I train and, you know, come to pick it maybe during the weekend. So, but today, because I had um, a lot of sessions, I was tired and I just decided, let me get to the commercial bus. However long it takes, at least I will get home. Maybe I can even sleep, catch my breath inside the bus. Since I got into a bus that called Yano World, I noticed that there was this weird smell in the bus. And anybody who has been involved in anything in military training or settings will know about gases that knock people off. So I knew that was what it was. So I spat in my anki and I used it to cover my nose. In about five or ten minutes, every other occupant of the vehicle were all asleep, aside from the team members who had all brought out coincidentally nose marks to cover their noses so their leader at the front looked back and you know shouted at me that you you know they sleep what you they find what you they look then and then i knew that okay these guys are kidnappers so we started exchanging words and i wasn't rude or anything i was just begging them appealing to them that the phone i'm using is an samsung galaxy s22 and it's 1.3 million in the market now that i can give it to them at least they can still sell it for 800k I told them, um, this is my ATM, you can empty it. I have a very big chain that is worth a million. I told them, this chain, you can take it. But they refused. They said, the only place where I will come down is when they are going to dagger me and pieces me. Anyway, because they saw that I was shouting and all that, they veered up the road and went to that, um, uh, that place that leads to, to Ade, Adeniji Underbridge. They took that way and parked under the bridge. It was pitch dark. They, they brought me out and they started using knife, cutlass, different things on me. Now I'm 45. I'm an African. So, of course, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't take anything for granted. I don't take chances. So I'm 45. So when they saw that the stabbing attempts on my body, the knife was not entering, their dagger, their kitchen knives, the knife was not entering, their dagger, their kitchen knives, their cutlass, they tried to cut me. About three of them held my neck 
in order to help my hand to the back and they put you can see lacerations on my neck they put knife on my neck to try and you know slash my neck and slaughter me but it wasn't penetrating so i just had the leader telling them in allow in Arusa that they should lie me down and use their boots about three of them were wearing army uniforms so they should use their boots to uh, crush my head so about six of them held me hand leg and two were using their boots to hit my eyes hit my nose they just wanted to knock me out but you know so after some minutes i just realized that i was getting dizzy and i was about to you know faint. and once that happens these people will take me and do what they want so i reached out for my bag which was on the floor and nobody was noticing they didn't notice it throughout all this thing <coughs> i used that see blood from my mouth i'm even bleeding I'm even bleeding internally. So I took out that knife with my right hand and I started, you know, waving it in different directions. So it caught one of them in the tummy. His tummy got busted, one in the neck, another one in the eye, and they started bleeding profusely. So their leader was telling them that should be they have gotten all these remaining ones who are asleep. Let them carry them and go and deliver them. They should leave me that at the end of the day I will die there with what they had done to me. So they all rushed off and this is me bleeding on my throat. My nose is broken, my eye inside, something is fundamentally wrong, my eyes, my mouth. I just want to, you know, clean up and then go to the hospital for medical attention. People, it is real. All the people I just talked about were northerners. These people have entered even Lagos State. They have entered Lagos. They have penetrated Lagos. They picked me up from that lucky Ikoi roundabout. That Ikoi that links Lekki and um, Ikoi, that bridge, that's where they picked me up. That kind of high bro environment, that kind of prestigious, luxurious environment is where these people picked me. Now, my pity is to all the about eight other passengers who, who they've carried wherever they are carrying and they're going to die definitely. Guys, you just have to be careful out there. That's what this is about. I'm still grateful for, for life. First person to say, if I tell my husband I can't enter all these commercial buses in Lagos, he would think I am acting bougie. Lagos that you can easily get lost if you don't know your way around. It's Uber or nothing and plenty prayers. The next one say, imagine if he wasn't fortified. May God protect those who have been taken away. Nowhere in Nigeria is safe now. Even pastors travel with bulletproof cars and armed security forces. Be conscious and pray before leaving your house. May we not fall victim of the kidnappers. The next person say, Bros, thank God for your life. Hope you are doing well in the hospital. See, one thing about being fortified is that it attracts this kind of accident to you if you do go jump. Now where then they should go? Your leg go, they carry you go. The same thing with bottle on. First way you know of fan go just come out as they use bottle on you. We thank God for your life anyways. Alright, the next person say, I don't know how we as Nigerians are protesting against the insecurity in the country. This is unacceptable. The economy isn't stable and we are still around secured. I swear, you know, go better for anyone where they go vote APC in 2023. Amen. Oh, a big amen to that. The next person say, it's real. We all have to be very careful out there. That's how my husband went to a small bar like that and three kidnappers came with three beautiful ladies. They had a successful operation and were in the bar to spend the money and targets and another person. They ordered drinks and chicken lab for my husband and three other persons. My husband reached out to me on WhatsApp immediately. I called him and told him to be shouting on me like he was calling me and you started to leave the place. He went there this morning to wash his car and was told four men were was kidnapped there. I have been thinking, God, imagine if he wasn't sensible enough. What would I have done? Stay safe out there. Well, <laughs> now when I will see the come out. For my house, we know they come out again. No? Mm -hmm. We know they come out again. The only place where they go in a church, and even church service, not even as frequent as before. 
We hardly go out. But the level there we say last last now God now you see the protest person. Because even some people now for their houses then then they go pick them. I say this country, person don't even know what it to do again. Everything just they go left, 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 left. But it's well anyway. God must surely see us through. Ah! God must see us through. We go join the people we go survive. See when this country go day better. Amen. Alright, wanna thank you for watching. Wanna say beautiful wanna bye.